Hi everyone, Ray from Pro String with another racket restringing tutorial. Today's uh, racket, as you can tell already, is a badminton racket, Yonex Astrox 100ZZ, or ZZ, depending uh, where you might be in the world. Um, so you got to make sure it's got plenty of, well not plenty, but just enough space to, to move around nicely. <clears throat> Very important, we'll be using today uh, Aerobyte Boost, Yonex Aerobyte Boost, which is a hybrid. Uh, so it comes with a thicker multi filament string and then a thinner. Um, the thicker one generally goes on the mains, that's what the packaging tells us to do. Uh, however, I do have clients that want it one way or the other. So just in case, it is always worthwhile asking your client which way around they would like it. Because I uh, came to a very uh, unfortunate um, argument with the client uh, and I said you know this is the way oh, it normally goes around yada 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 he didn't specify I didn't ask I just followed the normal instructions on the packaging uh, most people want the thicker string on the mains however some people want it the way around for more feel so the thinner if this so it's going to be more durable with the thicker strings on the mains as we're doing today at 27 pounds of tension uh, however if you're looking for more feel touch and power then the thinner strings on the mains will definitely be a, a better option. But that does come with an ultimate price because they will break relatively quick, especially if you play a, a good level or frequently. Yeah, maybe maybe you don't play at a super high level, but you know, then in that case, then maybe it's more worth it as it'll last a bit longer. But don't be, uh, don't be very surprised if you see it breaking uh, rather quick. Right, guys, I've measured up my mains. Um, exactly what the name of the mains are and the thickness as well that is the mains are 070 I think 072 and the crosses are 061 so 072 on the mains the red strings that we're using now um, 072 and it doesn't say exactly which strings they are I'm sure it says in the back nope Anyway, 072 millimeters on the mains uh, compared to the crosses, will, which will be 061 millimeters. Very thin. Whoa. Wrong side. <clears throat> this client in particular has brought three frames to be really strong. Today's the 27th of March, guys. Far enough, the time has arrived. For a bit of travel to Spain tomorrow. As always, guys, string is symmetrically compensating your tension from side to side with a maximum of three main strings to each side. And as you progress through, once you have your first three, then you just follow the same kind of uh, pattern, which is three, 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 three. Once you hit three from six to nine, which is another three, and then nine to 11, which therefore you have no choice but just to weave uh, or put through two more. Twenty-seven pounds of tension, guys, on this Astro ZZ one hundred or one hundred ZZ ZZ, however, whichever way you want to want to put it around, it's fine. Very popular racket, I have to say. I see it very often, almost weekly. I might have not seen it actually in the last week or two. Coincidentally.
very interesting day today. Anyway, six to one side. Now I need my other three, which will make six to the side I'm working on now. Interesting day today, change locations from a city office location in the city near Liverpool Street to a church. So the caretaker of a church is now gonna uh, take care of everything for us. Oh well, at least drop off some pickups. So I've got one hole here. So our last cross, which will be in about 15, 20 minutes, is covering our, so this main loop now, this main string, vertical string, is covering that, this hole here for our cross, last cross string at the top. Therefore, using my stringing aid. It's just a small piece of string. That helps a little bit with uh, getting the strings through. Uh, gives us a little bit more of a spacing. If not, sometimes it can be a bit of a nightmare. And I'm going to use another one again. I'll show you now how they look. Just small pieces of polyester string. You can use synthetica. Uh, I've been using polyester for yonks. Never, uh, never an issue there. Some people use they fold it over a piece of uh, badminton string. Get creative, can use anything really. Obviously within reason, make sure it's not sharp or anything silly like that. I like the burgundy paint job on this, to be honest. It kind of goes from burgundy to purple, I guess. Gotta say, it's a, it's a nice, nice paint job. There's a, there's a racket, a tennis racket that's just been launched uh, a month or two ago. The, the uh, Wilson, the new Wilson Blade, the Wilson 98 Blade. Uh, sexy. It's not often you hear me say that about a paint job, but that is, they got that right. And I didn't, I've seen it on in pictures and stuff, but I never really thought anything of it. <clears throat> but now that I see it in person, it's got a special. I've just got it here beneath me. Sometimes they should take a leaf out of a out of a badminton racket, like a tennis racket, squash, and badminton. They should all kind of copy each other, seeing that you know they work in different. I know it's less original, but you know, close to get some ideas from the other rackets out there. Maybe they do already. But I never really see. You know, badminton is, has their kind of line of. Paint jobs, tennis separately, and squash as well. But yeah. I have about three, I've got about six badminton rackets waiting to be strung by the end of today. Yep. <laughs> by the end of today. Pour now on that, guys, as always, on our eighth, on our eighth main string, or third last main from out to in. Six badminton, one squash. Two tennis. I've got the best part of ten rackets to do before I go to sleep tonight. With this one, will be one less. So positives there at least. I'm working on one now. The kids are downstairs doing. I don't know what because I believe my wife was working as well. So the kids are entertained with uh, her toys. No iPads have been given yet. But anyway, guys, uh, always up your attention as always. A reminder 15 to 20 percent is your common or recommended um, upping or increments of tension right 
our mains completed. Now for our crosses with the very thin 061 strings. Guys, when you cut your ties, the plastic ties, be very careful, take your time. There is no rush. There is no rush, there's nothing worse. I've done it before, yes I have. I'm not perfect, of course. Um, cut straight into a client string. <sighs> Awful. Awful. So find yourself a nice sharp little tool that will allow you to cut through that little thin piece of plastic, which can be annoying. Much prefer the reels. But yeah, that's something we got to deal with. Uh, tennis squash and badminton sets of strings come with these little plastic ties. Three. Oh, why am I counting like that? I don't need to count that way. And the badminton strings already cut for us. Okay, so guys, the knot when you're doing four knots, regardless of the type of string you're using, four knots needs to be uh, your starting knot on your first cross string. So the starting knot, sorry. Let's just talk about just the starting knot. Needs to be tied on the outer part of your racket. There we go. Kids are coming up. Hide, everybody hide. Yeah, Rafa, you want iPad. Okay, I'm coming down, one second. All right, guys, I need to go get my son's iPad because I hide them away in places they can't reach. They only have the iPad unless uh, if I'm working. Well, me and my wife. Not, I know it's not the best. It doesn't sound great, does it? But they do have a thousand million toys that are always in the way, which I seem to be stepping on all the time as well. But uh, in any case, let me just weave. So guys, I always like to weave myself the first three just to stay away from blocking more, um, blocking more holes, let's say. Your next does recommend upping your tension five zero point five of a pound. I don't think I'm gonna get let's sharpen up our uh yeah, he might have found some other toys actually now. Upstairs, yeah, they're all over the place. But I know he's gonna need my help for that as well, so Mid video, I might have to <laughs> encourage iPad usage. Let's see how long it takes him before he gets bored there of not being able to put his train track together by himself. A little car set train track. <clears throat> yep. It's uh, life as a parent, guys. Trying to do YouTube videos uh, in your spare time is uh, something uh, that doesn't exist. Maybe if you have one. Maybe even two, you'd get away with it, but with three? There we go. Yeah, Basa. What's up, man? iPad? You're not gonna try to fix your train set? No. Why, do you need my help? You wanna play with it? No. You just want iPad now? Yeah, I don't okay. have an iPad. Okay, everyone has an iPad? Yeah. Oh, it was charging, wasn't it? Uh, guys, pull two strings together on your first one because the knot, if not, will be pulled inside the frame or inside the grommet, which is not ideal. So this is the only time you really want to be pulling two strings at once. Give it a little pull like I just did now to make sure the tension kind of uh, also is added as best as possible to, um, to your first one. Yeah. But it's a starting knot, so there shouldn't be too many issues there. But yeah, generally speaking, never pull two strings together. You want to do some work, Rafa? No. You want to take some strings out? iPad. Uh, uh, iPad? No, iPad. Are you addicted to iPad? No. Do you have a problem with your iPad? No. So why do you need your iPad? Well, I want it if I ever have an iPad. Because your sister has an iPad. You love who so much? Ever. You love your sister so much? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Really? Yeah. 
So why do you fight with her all the time? Uh, I think that's being really mean to you. Huh? Because she's being mean to you. That's a reason right there. Right, guys, as you may have noticed, uh, I'm stringing one ahead. That means... Can I take the strings out or not? Yeah. You're already doing it now. Uh, stringing one ahead, which that means that we're weaving two strings, as you can see. I'm going to get rid of my excess starting knot strings. Yeah. That's my new well, yeah, that's my new racket, that's my diadem racket. You're gonna get a new racket soon as well. You're growing. And as you can see guys, I was just supporting my string there. iPad. iPad. <clears throat> iPad. iPad. If you guys don't have kids, I'll let you into a little experience here of having a child. They will ask you for something over and over and over. Until they get it their way, generally speaking. <laughs> guys, always, always moving your strings, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. Why do you have my cat? My cat out there. I don't like how the string is laying against the fixture there, guys. I don't know if you noticed. Ready? Yeah, one second, Rafa. My cat. Your? Your cat. My cat. Oh, you want it? Yeah. It's yours. I Take. had that a long time ago. Don't drop it. Actually, old. It's not old, you just haven't seen it in a while because you left it in here. Probably have a significant amount of toys in here. I have toys. Plastic ice cream cones and all fun stuff like that. I do it. It all. You don't want to make some money with daddy? Take some strings out of the rackets? Look, there's one there. That black one, that's my new one. You got other new ones? Yeah, I'm gonna get some new ones again. Why? Oh, you can get the green that's out? Such a good question, why? Huh? But I can get them out. Yeah? Mm -hmm. The strings, you wanna get the strings out, yeah? No. Yeah? No? Sometimes Mr. Raphael works with me, no? And gets a little bit of pocket money. Why do you have a lot of grips? Why do I have a lot of grips? Yeah. People buy them. And then, then I like my, my box. What did, did you have for lunch, Kath? Come here, though. I had bogeys. You had bogeys. Nice. You didn't, have, you, didn't, you didn't have poo? I did. You had poo as well, yeah? For lunch? Yeah. Was it? No, poo for... Uh, for, for, for dessert. Two for dessert. Nice. So I didn't have any or pee. No? No, oh. I had, I had, I had nappies. I had nappies. I had nappies for lunch. Mm. You had diapers, nappies. Pañales, yeah? yeah. I can teach you guys Spanish as well. Huh? Should I teach everybody Spanish? No. Why not? Teach my bum bum Spanish. Teach your bum bum Spanish. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> hey. I'll give you iPad now, just one second, yeah? Can I finish this racket? Can you be patient? No poof face. No poof face. Guys, you want to try to keep supporting that string while it's being pulled. That way it comes out nice and straight and you have to don't, you move as minimal your strings around as after. So in other words, you don't want to move your strings around very much. There's always going to be a slight movement when you straighten your strings. And then as you get better over time, strings will come out straighter. Maybe this video will have the most views. The 
Yeah. Rafa, isn't it? Can I have the hair on? Are you done for the day, Julia? No. Okay. Who's going to pick up Olivia? Oh, just let me know, yeah? Just let me pee. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Who says that? Me. Huh? Me. You, you say Jesus Christ. Yeah, you say Jesus Christ. Who says it? Me. Me, I say it as well. Yeah. Ow! Why, why is the window open? Grab the paper and close the window, please. I just hit my back. <laughs> it's not funny. Just stab myself with the window. Move. I need to close this window. I'm working. Move. I'm working. Things are escalating rapidly because there's no iPad. You know, he's touching everything. Get his bolita for you want a pen? And something to write on? Yeah. There we go. We're deviating from the magical words of I. P-A-D, or should I say letters? Why don't you sit, sit on the chair? I don't want, I don't want you to write on the, uh, on the carpet, yeah? Let's see how long now, before he, uh... He's still in the room, He's still in the premises. We're going to play lots of tennis and golf in Spain, Rafa. So guys, for you those that might be thinking this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, shared hole, nine, shared hold, skip one, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, shared hole, nine, shared hole, skip one, ten. So this racket has actually got only uh, 20 mains. And across as well one so the top that's the bottom that's how the bottom was in the top one two three four five six skip one seven skip one eight skip one nine skip one ten so the bottom and top are very different daddy look look daddy wow that's really cool i didn't look you've got to read wow what are you doing is that your name? Nope. Practicing your name? No, it's a, a balloon. A balloon? No, not a balloon. A balloon, it's but a, not a balloon. It's a, 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 fia, and then a. Oh, you're doing phonics? No. 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 Sounded like you're doing phonics. <clears throat> Another shared hole, guys. Don't like it when the um the string is being pulled against against the fixture. So I always find a way. In this in this case, it was just um locking my my base. That's my base. Um, just that way. This that's why the string. It's that way the string is really being uh being pulled to its maximum potential. If there's something in its way or it's leaning on something, it might not be pulling exactly to its um, purest of tensions, let's say. Cut yourself a nice sharp edge. Mine has fluffed up significantly.
¿Quieres ir a España, mi mamá, mañana? No. ¿Churros? Choco... ¿Churros y chocolate? No quiero. I'm going to travel. Very lucky We travel there every few weeks. Every six, seven weeks. Every uh, half term. Just outsource all my work to the guys and it, if not I'll probably spend more than I than I spend in paying the guys and um in nursery fees and, and all that funny that, that fun stuff as a parent all those fun fees I would have to pay three caps and the little one probably can't even go to any yet because she's too small but all, in all fairness her nursery or kindergarten is open from next Tuesday so after this four day uh, weekend, long weekend, uh, she would be able to go back to nursery or kindergarten as normal. But we're pulling her out for a few weeks. My wife will continue to work as normal, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, which means that daddy daycare will be fully operating with myself. Okay, guys, we're almost done. One more cross. One more cross and we still avoided the IPAD word for this young guy over here sat in a chair who's managed to find himself a nice piece of paper and a pen. Are you Rafa? Yeah, and yeah. I'm doing a treasure map. You're doing a? A, a, a treasure a map. Wow. Yeah. The Billy and Jack would have come with me and looking in the nursery. Is that what you guys did today? Yeah. No? So who taught you how to do a treasure map? And Your friends? Yeah, they wanted our treasure. Right. We got to look for that every single day. You should be finding your treasure every day. Yeah. Is it hard work? Yeah, Billy and Jasper keep looking for it. Uh, and you? No? Billy and Jasper looking for treasure, and you? Just saying, you look, and I'll watch you look. Right guys, we tie our knot on our one, two, three, four, fifth main string. This client has brought three rackets and they're all hybrids. Well, I don't know if it's a true hybrid. We need a boat. A true hybrid in my opinion is when you have a hard Daddy, string Daddy, as a polyester or something Daddy, similar and, and a soft string as a synthetic multi etc. Yeah, Daddy, or natural. Daddy and Jasper got to come with me on the boat. Then we're getting the treasure. Billy and Jasper have to come with you on a boat. So then we'll come back. And then you'll find the treasures. Then we'll meet you. And then you'll meet me? Yeah. Billy like, and Jasper. I'll pick you up on the boat? Yeah. All right. With the private jet. On a speedboat? On a speedboat. What if I pick you up with a helicopter or a private jet? If you have a really big boat, we can land. Helicopter. Oof, that feels crisp. That feels crispy, Rafa. Right. I barely have any strings to move around here, guys, which is really good. Always um, reassuring that I've done a good job. Right. There you have it, guys. You come back, here. Yonex Astrox 100ZZ. All right, guys. There you have it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hopefully there was some helpful knowledge there, and I hopefully uh, you enjoyed the background commentary from uh, Family Life. But there you have it. It is what it is. If I uh, don't do it this way, I don't do it anyway. Anyway, guys, take care. Bye-bye and happy stringing. Bye-bye.